Hi, I'm Lisa Leiter in Chicago Business Today Hotel Deals. There are signs that the hotel business is pulling out of its worst slump in decades. The Pritzker family has agreed to sell three suburban hotels to a Texas investment group. Sources tell Cranes Ambridge Hospitality is buying the Hyatt Lyle, Hyatt Deerfield, and Hyatt Rosemont. The properties are part of a portfolio that Hyatt put up for sale this summer. What they try to do is sell off assets in markets like the Chicago suburbs and they tie up the properties with management or franchise agreements so they remain Hyatt's and they're still part of the chain but they're not using up all this money of Hyatt's and they can go spend the money elsewhere. Neither Hyatt nor Ambridge would confirm the sale, but sources say the company will continue to operate the hotels under the Hyatt name. In another deal, Virginia-based Apple REIT 9 agreed to buy four hotels in the suburbs as well for $96.5 million. It's snapping up a residence inn in Mitawa and three Hilton Garden Inns. As one analyst put it, last year hotel was a four-letter word, but money is now flowing back into the hotel market, which is in the early stages of recovery. This is as investors are trying to get in before prices rise too much. In the hotel class, values have come back to their previous peak. That usually happens over a two or three year recovery period. We're clearly in the first year of a recovery period right now. So I think people are now sort of the, one of the best buying opportunities probably in the last uh, two or three cycles before values get back up. And we're forecasting values to reach their previous peak by the end of 2012. Downtown hotels are already seeing better occupancy rates and room rates are improving as well. The downturn has been especially hard on suburban hotels, but the numbers are looking up there too. Revenue per available room, which accounts for both occupancy and rate, rose 7.6% in the first eight months of 2010 from the same period a year ago. Still, revenue is well below 2008 levels, so it doesn't quite feel like a recovery yet. And it's worth pointing out that it's not just distressed hotels attracting investors' attention. In July, host hotels and resorts surprised the market when it agreed to buy the Weston River North for $165 million, a hefty price tag considering the state of the market. Even if you're only getting a 20% discount compared to the previous peak value, compared to you know looking for a property that has a lot of problems and getting it for 50% less than its peak, you're still uh, in a situation where you've got a property that's probably not going to have the headaches involved in the turnaround and you're just going to be able to ride the recovery for the next two and a half years. Detlefson is in the process of conducting his annual survey of hotel general managers in the Chicago area. They're looking at raising room rates by high single digit or double digit percentages next year. That's good news for hotel owners of course, but bad news for travelers. Well, that's this edition of Chicago Business Today. For more on this story, be sure to check out this week's print edition of Cranes or ChicagoBusiness.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.